So here we are finishing off the vase just um, using the skew to uh, round the top. Um, as soon as I'm finishing that I will use some, uh, I'll sandpaper, or in fact we sandpaper uh, down to the 400 grit um, in preparation of putting on a, uh, a stain which we're then going to finish with a, a CA finish on top. So we're just creating a little hole in the top of the vase and uh, yes, prepare it for the next session. Once we've drilled the hole, um, we can bring up our tailstock uh, with a larger uh, centre there. Um, and just a couple of marks there I've still got to uh, get out before I hit it with the sandpaper. Um, but um, well, I'll do that, I'll sand it all up and uh, we'll be back for the next step. Okay, so having sanded it to uh, the 400 grit, what I'm starting to do here is, uh, and it doesn't look like I'm doing much here, um, but I am applying a very light, um, what they, they call a, a wash coat. Now, this is a, a mix of white acrylic paint in water, and it's of a consistency that gets into the pores of the timber and, uh, and, and acts basically like a stain. Um, and that's because we're going to, uh, the vase I'm, I'm making is, uh, probably my inspiration is an iceberg. So the very top of the, the vase I want uh, in a white and will have a variated, variegated blue um, right down to a deep uh, blue down on the base which will be um, a pure stain straight out of the bottle. Um, I'm using a water-based stain um, and as you can see we just here I'm just spreading and thinning out the, uh, the, the, the acrylic paint just with water and just spreading it and just making this the wash. So there you see we've got the first basic coats of the, the stain on and uh, we've still got a bit of work to do at the, the base of it to make it deeper than that but that's just uh, uh, spreading it evenly out until I, uh, I like what I see, basically. Now the other thing to tell you is that um, because it's water-based stain, obviously it had to be uh, um, really dry and, and sanded back well before we started to apply a, a CA coat. Um, and I'm not showing the application of the CA coat. Um, I took a long time with that um, you'll see the end result and uh, if you uh, wanted to follow the dear captain he shows you the uh, the way of, uh, of actually uh, applying a CA coat. The final process is to fit a blue anodized aluminium wire and I did that uh, by uh, with my parting tool making it a, a two millimeter trench around the edge and then glued it in. Well, so we've come to the end of the project, and here it is. So, uh, uh, a little vase. It's uh, my first attempt, and uh, um, all in all, I mean, apart from we're always self-critical, but I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Um, I've decided to call it my iceberg uh, vase. Um, I think from obvious reason, the little blue um, highlight around here is almost like a sea level, so we've got a um, you've got your uh, your white iceberg up, up the top and of course the rest of two thirds of any iceberg is always under the water so in the deep blue so there's my iceberg vase so thank you for watching and uh, we and I'll put a, I'll post a couple more pictures but thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon